fixed this mask, they would have had to have moved it out of the way to spay her. And then I was like, let me find her uterus. And I found her little uterus under a thing and traced it right into the block. Unbelievable. Yeah. Unbelievable. This is amazing. Hey, everybody. Amy with 100 plus abandoned dogs of Everglades, Florida. We have an audience waiting for an update on her. They've all been praying. You don't even understand. I'm here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist with Dr. Cannon, the best internist in the world with Wendy. I wanted to wait. We have 18 people currently watching. I'm going to wait for 26. Let's wait for some people to jump on and I can continue so I don't have to keep repeating myself. Hope everybody's enjoying this beautiful, beautiful day. I'm gonna go write her some discharges. Awesome. And Thank I'll, you. I'm gonna get you some pictures. Awesome. Thank you so much. The power of prayer. Yes, it's Wendy. She's such a good girl. We have 60, 73 people watching. Shelly came along with me. <clears throat> Wendy, hey, what are you licking, Mommy? What are you licking, Mommy? Hi, baby girls. Hi, baby girls. Well, I think you can hear it in my voice. Dalton is great. This is the focus on Wendy. So please let me just speak on Wendy. 87 people, 90 people. Again, we are here at Lauderdale Veterinary Specialist. We made an appointment for Wendy. Um, after she received an x-ray radiographs at VCA Imperial Point Animal Hospital, which they found a mass on the x-ray. And the only way to determine what that mass is um, was with an ultrasound. And we all know that she has a, a bad injured leg, um, her back right leg, which needs an FHO surgery with a board certified surgeon, which would be Dr. Babitsky, our favorite surgeon of all times. Hi, Mama. Do you want to say hi, everybody? Do you want to say thank you, everybody, for all your prayers? Huh? Do you want to say thank you for everybody for the prayers? We put the pillow on the floor, and of course, Miss Thing went right on the pillow like the princess she is. <laughs> and she had to lay on the pillow. She's like, I'm not laying on this cold floor. Are you people crazy? Tail doesn't stop. She is nothing but love. She's sweet as can be. Okay, I think I can continue. We have about 110 people on here right now, so... Um, I'm sure people are at work, but they can always come back and watch this video later on after work or whatnot to get the update on Wendy. So are you all ready for this? And it's not a surprise because this is the crap that we deal with on a daily basis. Um, right, Shelly? Ridiculous. Miss Princess, are you on your velvet chair? Yes. Okay. Yes. You just make yourself right at home there, Mommy. Um, Hey everybody, Amy here. Sorry, it's a little rough. Long day today. Uh, I would like to update everybody with Wendy. Um, as I stated earlier, uh, they detected a mass in her abdomen. Well, guess what? That mass is... Now, mind you, she was spayed at the Miami-Dade Animal Services Kill Shelter. And um, yeah, that mass is her uterus. It was a botched spay. So very simple surgery. They're going to uh, go in and remove the mass. And they are also going to fix her FHO at the same time. We are going to be setting up uh, an appointment at VCA Imperial Point with Dr. Pavetsky because she's a traveling surgeon and she's doing surgery out of that hospital mm -hmm. that we mm -hmm. use on a regular basis. I know. Oh, my God is right. So while exactly FFS, yep. I'm, I'm assuming that that was um, Jan. <laughs> Jan. Uh, everybody can smile um, because Miss Wendy is going to be sticking around for quite some time. We're going, God willing, we're going to remove the so-called mass, which is her uterus. Um, it's terrible. It's terrible. I'm, I'm disgusted for what these animals have to endure, to be quite honest with you. 
um, a simple surgery. I'm not kidding, Zoe. I am not kidding. They left her uterus. It's uh, it, there is some. Um, what did she say? There was some fluid in it. Yeah. There's some fluid in it, so she was concerned, um, but nothing to be alarmed about. It's got to come out. Bottom line, it's got to come out, and we're gonna get it taken care of. We're gonna remove it, and an FHO is basically the leg. Um, oh God, I don't even know how to describe the FHO. It's the bones yeah. um, from an injury, maybe hit by, probably most hit by a car, some sort of trauma. Um, I wish Dr. Cannon was in here. She's she's writing out the discharges, but um, yep, botch spade. Uh, so her leg is bum. Um, she's limping, and it is very painful. Uh, the leg. So we have her on gabapentin three times a day. Um, yes, Zoe. Same time as the FHO. They're going to do both. Get the. It's a simple surgery. Remove the tumor and then close her up and then go in and do the um, FHO with Dr. Vitsky. Uh, it's the head of the femur has to be removed. That is the um, FHO, um, femoral head ostomec ostomectomy. Um, that is what it is basically uh, the FHO surgery. So we've done a lot of them. Actually, Dalton had an FHO. Um, and Dalton is doing great, by the way. They're supposed to be removing the catheter tomorrow. And um, things are going really well for him. So hopefully he'll be released and come back to us. Um, what these dogs have to go through. I mean, we had her with cancer. We thought it was a mass tumor. Um, we were preparing ourselves, staying that, you know, Shelly and I were just outside talking while they were doing the ultrasound. And I said to Shelly, you know, Shelly, whatever, I've already prepared myself. If it's a cancer tumor, um, we will not euthanize. Uh, if she is happy and eating, um, we've complained. Susan, we have written the news. We They have done continuous news stories on the situations there. Uh, I cannot. I had at one time uh, a, a filing cabinet full of all the botched surgeries done um, at the shelter and it got us nowhere. It's just their protected entity. Um, FHO, FHO is a, um, it's a femoral osteo osteectomy. So they remove the actual, yeah. Okay. Now, what day was she spayed? Do you remember? I can find out from Tam. Um, it's on our paper. It's on her MDAS paper. I just want to make sure that this couldn't be a stump pile mitra. Oh. But the only way they can get a stump pyometra is that somebody left in an ovarian remnant, which means if it's there's been enough time that it could be a stump pyometra, then I gotta go search to make sure I don't see ovaries. Oh. Um, but. Do you want to do that just to be sure? So I'm thinking, but if it would, if it was only three weeks ago, it's probably too early for a stump pyometra. But that's I want to write in the date. Anyway. Well, we rescued her two weeks ago, and she was weeks, just weeks, weeks. recently spayed. So we think her spay was probably three weeks ago. <laughs> two and a half weeks you know it'll be two weeks Sunday two weeks Sunday yeah. not even yeah so it's not even two weeks See, which is really too soon to have a stump pile okay try. so I, I think that means that we're dealing with a little hematoma there the question is is could it resolve over time do we wait it out I'm waiting to see if Dr. Bovetsky texts me back to see what her opinion is is do you know is that something where we wait it out or would we rather just get it out if she would be willing to do the two surgeries at the same okay. time it would make sense to me but I need to see what she's okay. up for. Perfect. So Dr. Cannon um, is communicating with me that she is communicating with the surgeon. Dr. Is it Dr. Babitsky or Bovetsky? Bovetsky. Bovetsky. I always say it wrong so I don't want to disrespect um, Dr. Bovetsky. Um, she's communicating with her to discuss um, what the actual procedure would be to do them both together, uh, wait it out. Maybe it will, would you say, go down or dissipate on its own? You don't know. If it's a big hematoma. If it's a hematoma. You know, could, could she just resolve it on her own? But my worry is, is when that's just sitting in there, if there's any chance for infection, that's a good place for bacteria yeah. to set up shop yeah so mm -hmm. I, I think if she's already going under anesthesia right. it would be to me if she's comfortable with doing both at the same time right i'd be i mean it'd be crazy not to just get rid get of it get rid of it 
Yeah. But sometimes they won't do two surgeries at one time right. because of the risk of right. touching one place that might have an infection and that infection setting up elsewhere. Gotcha. So sometimes she'll say, I won't, wouldn't do those, I'd stage those anyway. Okay. And then we might say, when do we prioritize the hip and then wait and then see if this thing goes away. This and it poor doesn't, thing, quit, man, what she has to go through because of a botched surgery already cut open once and then caught open again and then her leg and uh, so she was adopted two weeks ago sunday so rescued not get? adopted she still needs a home so all of you watching <laughs> wendy needs a home what, um, so that means it would be the 13 the, the 14 14 we rescued her on sunday the, the 14th, sunday the 14th um, and she was spayed just literally like a few literally days a few days that. before we got her out of there Look at her. Oh my god, hold on. Mama, show everybody those ears. Is this ears? I can't. What's with those ears? What's with that face, Mint Wendy? Is that why you were barking so much to let us know, Amy, I'm not going anywhere. It's just a, a stupid mistake Miami Dade made. See, she was trying to tell us. She knows. Do you do Reiki? Do you believe in Reiki? I don't do Reiki. I know people who do Reiki. Energy transfer is real. Whether it she can loves. fix a disease mm -hmm. is, there's not a ton of evidence. But there's, I will tell you, there's no harm in it. Right. And in, in, in positive energy movement and positive, positive energy is, is never wrong. Right. And can that make a body more willing to be able to he heal probably but can you heal a disease can you take your hands over cancer and cure them with reiki i will say that the evidence is ex is non-existent mm -hmm. for that i agree but but can we benefit them yeah probably probably power of prayer the power of love and the power of miami dade botching a spay and not being cancer <laughs> i'll take it all in one sentence <laughs> See, guys, whatever's meant to be is going to be a happy day for Wendy. Um, so basically, I'm here because I wanted to update everybody. Miss Wendy is very comfortable on her swivel velvet chair while we are, well, not me, but Shelly's on the floor. Um, and we're just updating. So we're going to find out all the details once we communicate with the surgeon, Dr. Bavesky, and we will update you more as to where we proceed from here. Yes. Uh, no. Back right. Back right, right? right. Back right. <laughs> Back right. Yep. Yeah. Wendy is still looking for her forever home. She loves, she loves hard. Um, she's fantastic. She does fine with little dogs. She actually likes little dogs that are not in her face. She is the boss. She will let you know she is boss, but there is no, there is no bite to this dog. It is just a little bark. Um, she has a lot to say. Big personality with the best ears in South Florida so come on guys let's get some of these dogs adopted we have so many great dogs in two houses rescue house one rescue house two um, yes dr. Cannon took care of Sabre yes she did and he's doing amazing he's doing amazing and we are also going to be setting up we have some exciting news for all of you we are going to be setting up our gorgeous boy Simba who's going to be starting um, physical therapy treadmill underwater next week. We're going to be coordinating. So we'll go live while Simba is treading water in a treadmill. It's going to be so great for him. And we'll make sure he has his stuffy carrot uh, <laughs> for all of you to come along with us on our journey. Um, everybody, please donate for the ongoing medical care. Like I said, we have... A large surgery um, you know everything costs money so we need um, your support and allowing us to continue our continuous mission to saving so many in need and as you know we are not a cherry pick rescue we take the tough cases the ones that nobody wants the nobody wants to spend the the money on um, that scare people away um, and those are the cases that we seek out because they need us the most um, 
So come on guys, share this video, please donate, and we will update more as we know. Thank you, Mabel, for your $50 donation. Mabel has put up a $50 challenge. Um, like I said, if we can just cover as we go um, the cost of, of the medical, like today the ultrasound, um, and now we're preparing for surgery. So let's get the donation chain going, please. And as you know, we are so grateful for each and every one of you. Um, and if we want to get Simba into physical therapy, then um, we also need to raise funds for that so we can give him everything possible to restore his health. Um, he's doing wonderful. Uh, I know that Jan was going to do a weigh-in today. He lost six point something pounds last week. Let's hope, I know he's lost more because he looks fantastic. Um, and Simba got a new carrot donated again. Thank you, Auntie Susan Ho. He's now has, what, three carrots? Three, carrots. three stuffed carrots. The answer is here. What? Yep. What? Both? Yes. The answer is yes. Yes? Do both? both? Awesome. There's the answer. Dr. Bavetsky said, absolutely. We're doing both at the same time, both surgeries. She will go under anesthesia once. So I will be contacting VCA to coordinate and set up her appointment. And let's get this done and, and let's get her back to normal and get her adopted. That's awesome. Tell her I'll be reaching out to set it up. Thank you, everybody, in advance for your love and your support. And I know Miss Shelly is very, are you happy, Shelly? I'm so happy. Shelly, she's very connected. Um, these two have a wonderful, beautiful connection. Um, so thank you for your prayers. Now we need your donations. Love all of you. Appreciate you so much. This is Amy with Shelly and our update on Miss Wendy, 100 plus, Abandoned Dogs of Everglades, Florida. And thank you to Dr. Cannon and in advance to Dr. Bavetsky.